Hi, my name is Antoine from TSM. This is my basic guide to Nilly. Um, Nilly's jungle clear is pretty strong. It really depends if you know how to like play the champion because you have to make sure that you do the order basic attack resets and stuff like that and you also have to kite the minions and if you don't do that then her clear is actually really bad because you take a lot of damage so you have to make sure you kite and therefore give it 8 out of 10 because I feel like if you know how to kite then her clear is really really strong and you will still have like a putt left after your first clear so you can also gank and for ganking I only give it a 6 out of 10 because I feel like her ganks really rely on hitting her spear and since like hitting spear is not like you're not gonna hit every single one of them, then I think like it's only 6 out of 10, whereas if you're playing Rek'Sai, you will obviously always hit the Naga up. And for solo queue, I give it 8 out of 10 because Nilly is a champion that either snowballs out or gets snowballed on. So let's say you have like 3 kills early game, you're able to snowball the game, but if you're like 0 2 early game, it's really hard to come back as Nilly because she's one of those champions that really has to like scale. And if your team is all behind you, you're just gonna get dove and get killed because Nilly is one of those champions you want to poke with. And if you are not allowed to poke, well, then it's really hard to win solo queue. So on Nilly, you want to mainly look for early ganks. Add level three or and onwards. Um, how you gank is mainly you want to gank the lanes who are either pushing towards your side or the gank the lanes where you have CC. So let's say you gank bot lane, you want to come from river, and then if their lane is pushing towards you guys, then they'll be overextended, and you can come a bit from behind. And the way you gank with nearly you want to throw your spear first, and if you hit that spear, you follow up with a WE. Um, before you hit your Q, because the Q does the more damage the lower the target is, so you always want to use your spell rotation before using your Q to get the maximum damage output. And if they are like really far OX, then you can also just hold your spear and just jump on them. And the second you are 100% sure you'll hit the spear, then you can throw the spear and do your rotation again. So Nilly, when it comes to team fighting, she's a really squishy target, and therefore you have to stand back and poke. So what you normally want to do is just stand far back, heal your front line, spear as many targets as you can. But if you land that spear on a really squishy target and you already have your hourglass, you can always decide to jump on her and one-shot her and use your hourglass instantly to make sure all the people don't go on you. And if you don't have the hourglass and you feel like if you jump in, you're gonna die in the process of killing that guy, then you should never jump in. You should always just keep poking until you see the right situation where you can get the kill without dying yourself. Because Nilly will always win the extended team fights because of her spearing and her healing. So since Nilly has such a fast jungle clearing, then she also is really good at counter jungling. And normally the first time you can counter jungle is around level 3 because you'll most likely it'll be full health, whereas the other jungle would probably be 40 to 60% health. And the way you count jungle is just run into the jungle, set a trap here and there, put a string at ward and take his camps. And if you find him, you can probably kill him. So Nilly is one of those champions that works really well with kiting champions or defensive champions, such as if you have like a Seer or you have a Sivir and stuff like that, you can just run around and kite them. And you you mainly want to have a composition where you can like peel for Nilly. So Janna is also a really good example. Like let's say you have a composition where you have engaged fights, then the thing that will always happen is your team will all go on their backline and then that team will also go on your backline, which means you. And since Nilly is really squishy, then you always want to have the peeling composition. So on Nilly blue side, you start on Grum, and then you get a leash with your top lane, and then you go on blue buff. After blue buff, you take red buff, and then because normally as Nilly, you have a lot of health after those three camps, and you can go to the river, take Skull. If you land your Q, you kill it really fast. And after you kill Skull, since Nilly is such a fast jungler, and some of the jungles you might face, like Sajrani, they're really slow at jungling, then you, after killing Skull, you can go to his enemy blue buff, and sometimes they're still not done with, and you might be able to kill him. So purple side is basically the same as blue side, but that's only one thing that changes. Since on blue side you can always go to his blue because it's like a clear path, whereas on when you're on purple side, then going to his red buff is not, not like as easy, and therefore you'll not look to put your pressure on his buff, but you just want to either gain bottom mid, and if none of those gain blue, you just back off. So on Nilly you do AP queens and AP blues because Nilly scale, uh, ratio is really good with AP mainly. Because your your early clears, uh, AP is really really reliable because you will be able to clear the games faster. And also, 
because your healing skills with AP, then you'll also be more healthy in the jungle. And you take 80 because of your you have you get a lot of basic stacks during your clears and also with your healing, your E, then you also get improved attack speed, which makes 80 even better since you'll auto attack more often. And you take armor uh, armor yellows because you take a lot of damage in the jungle. Like that's that's why you take armor. Yellows and nearly every single champion in the game. So nearly I do a 21 9 masteries mainly to have the great early game pressure where you have a fast clean and also have really strong ganks. On nearly I at level 1 attack Q, level 2 attack E, level 3 attack W. You mainly want to start with Q to improve your jungle clearing. Since you mainly start on like ground boy golems, then having the extra damage is just really efficient. And then you take E second because you want to get the healing slash attack speed and also have the extra uh, AOE damage on the clearing. After that you take W so you can run around the... Like you get a little free after you've cleaned free camps and therefore you're now ready to gank and then you get your W because you can run people down. And then you max Q because you want to have the... as most damage as... As you ever can, and hitting a spear would probably um, turn into a kill. And then you max E second for the extra healing and extra damage, and W for it. So on Nilly, you first you want to get the Trailblazer Magus, which is the AP enchantment, and after that you want to get Boots, um, then Rod of Ages. Be I some people do it here, but I think Rod of Ages all has just better stats. And after that, <clears throat> it really depends if you feel like you're gonna get hot in it engaged on because if they have like a dive come then you want to get an hourglass but if they have a more poke heavy come just as yourself then you can get a large stuff and just hit the Qs all the time and after that you will get magic penetration boots you want to upgrade your boots and then you take either after the boots you either take hourglass or large staff depending on what you took first and after that you just get death cap because death cap just gives you a lot of damage since it gives you extra 30% ability power which is a huge deal since you already have around 500 AP at that point and therefore you just get a huge spike in your itemization. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out the rest on lolclass.com.